what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here since i'm about halloween ends in this video here again today talking about some comments that viewer non has tweeted out that has people some people anyway talking about what they are expecting for halloween ends now going into this upcoming october so viewer non put out some tweets uh earlier this week mentioning the reshoots that are going to be happening soon and also pointing out that from what they know it's not just a michael myers kills a lot of people in lower show has to stop them sort of movie there are other factors and threats at, at play the movie hasn't had a public public test screening yet what i know is based on script information i'm privy to and some sources working on the film in various capacities but right now it's more interested in the boogeyman than just michael myers basically this is an early four months out to call four months out call to ready yourself for something different and don't just hate it because it's different they made their carpenter love letter in 2018's halloween and their ultimate slasher movie in halloween kills this is going to a or this is going in a different way so as far as you know the first bit of comments there it's not just a michael myers kills a lot of people in lord shows has to stop them sort of movie there are other factors at play and saying it's more interested in the boogeyman than just michael myers it sounds like we're going to have a lot more of a psychological film this time around now going off of what viewer non himself again has tweeted it doesn't seem as though viewer non has seen this movie this is mostly again just like stuff that's been told to them about the script and other things they've again made made a point to mention they are in the know about and giving their thoughts on what it sounds like halloween ends is going to be like that's what i'm gathering because they haven't it doesn't sound like they've seen the movie so when it comes to what they have to say i hope it is something that's a lot more psychologically driven in the sense that you get to focus in on how these characters have been impacted from the events of halloween 2018 halloween kills learning what they're dealing with learning where they are in life learning how michael myers has impacted how things are done in haddonfield because we know that there's going to be a current state of haddonfield that we're going to have addressed uh that information was shared from phantom empire i made a video talking about it so we know that there's going to be certain factors involved here in the movie that in, that end up resulting from the events of halloween kills and halloween 2018 it's a response to what michael myers has done in the last four years and now haddonfield has completely been reshaped some people have moved out some people have moved in some people don't believe what happened four years ago actually happened from what i remember uh if that's how the rumor was to be interpreted some people are again just like a completely oblivious and they're still moving in just because they want to move in and they don't, they don't really care <laughs> so as it pertains to michael myers and his whole impact on haddonfield i am interested in seeing a movie that's more about that than just jumping right into michael myers sees a person person dies you know i want to have more of this psychological aspect played up a bit more just to kind of see where these characters heads are at before they start dying give us a reason to grow attached to them grow invested in them making their deaths some of them more impactful than others making their deaths mean something whereas again with halloween kills it was just carnage candy <laughs> a fast food style slasher movie that was fun for the most part but it had a lot wrong with it for instance like i made mention of in, in my review for it with the legacy characters that they bring back they don't really do anything to kind of get you invested in them outside of just saying oh hey you remember tommy doyle or hey you remember lindsey wallace okay but who are these people now who the hell are they <laughs> why should i care about them now what is going on because they just we see them and you know it's nostalgic and then we have this brief interaction between laurie and tommy and it's so fast they don't even let the audience enjoy that there and it seems like honestly between their interaction that they had just seen each other a few weeks ago or something there was no vibes coming off of there that made it seem like they had not seen each other for 40 years so everyone else they were all in this loop and the audience was left out of it that's how it felt by how fast and the treatment of certain reunions in halloween kills so with that in mind going into you know talking about the boogeyman aspect you know i want to see that hyped up a bit more you don't just make it about michael myers in the sense of talk about what michael myers represents talk about who michael myers is to haddonfield you don't have to just you don't have to just zero it out to michael myers we know it's about michael myers that's haddonfield's boogeyman but it could be talked about in a way 
which is very thought provoking to your audience. Again, it's playing up the psychological aspect. Are they you could maybe some people might start to doubt they're talking about Michael Myers for whatever reason. Of course, those of us like me and some other people who are diehards to the series know that the boogeyman in reference would be Michael Myers. That's again me interpreting what viewer non has stated. I wouldn't mind a movie like that if it's just more so, you know, again, I've already talked about like a less is more approach. Don't have Michael Myers just wandering around doing all this killing so so fast. Let things breathe. Let certain developments occur. Let certain things happen throughout the day. Let us see Michael Myers stalking these people throughout the day, too. You could do something like that and then see how they all end up reacting to whatever ends up occurring on that Halloween night four years later when Michael Myers returns to Haddonfield to wreak havoc once again. Because as of now, the only three people that I'm interested in seeing right now, because again, it's, it, this movie is very tight lipped. They've done a great job as a, compared to Halloween Kills. The only people I'm interested in seeing and learning about right now are Lori, Allison, and Lindsay. Seeing if they're even like this trio of characters that hang out, seeing what the night of 2018 did to all of them, seeing how the death of her parents has impacted Allison because she lost both of her parents, seeing how Karen's death impacts Lori as well since that was her daughter. She didn't really seem to care about her son-in-law, so I'm not expecting her to even be upset about him. <laughs> but it would just be nice to, you know, again, play up with the psychological stuff maybe there's some things going on in alice's life where she has nightmares about michael myers or maybe Lindsay has nightmares about michael myers something that could be done to play up that aspect before we see michael myers start wreaking havoc but we'll see what ultimately ends up happening happening when the movie releases in october what type of halloween ends do you want to see do you want to see a movie that's completely different than kills in 2018 would you want to see something that's more along the lines of a psychological movie i'm not talking about anything along the lines of rob zombies halloween 2 i'm not talking about that <laughs> i'm talking about something coherent and easy to follow so let me know what you guys think about all that down in the comment section below and i'll leave a link to viewer non's tweet in the description as well if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification you can never miss a video in the description i've linked some social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video